everyone. So we're gonna review some, some you know, basic math principles: add, subtract, multiply, divide. We're gonna go over them. There was some minor mistakes we did on Tuesday. I want you to not worry about it so much. You know, it's our first test quiz. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Now we complete. So I don't want us freaking out about. It, okay. Listen to me right now. Make sure you're listening to me because I didn't give points to last week's assignment on Wednesday because you didn't hear the video and I don't know if what happened. You have to complete all the problems, not just the ones I do in the video, okay? So if I do the left side, you still have to complete the right side. So make sure you watch everything. Pause the video when you have to so you can see stuff clearly, okay? So I'm going to get started. So on the first one right here, and I mentioned this a couple of times. Now, in order to get rid of this denominator, we're going to have to multiply both sides by 5. Unless I want to use the distributive property, which I can. But in this case, I want to multiply both sides by 5 to get rid of that denominator on the bottom. It's going to cross out that 5, okay? Now, this 5 right here, I can divide it into the 20, but I'm going to have a 4 on the bottom, okay? Because 4 times 5 gives us 20, and I'm going to get rid of that 5, okay? What I'm also going to do here is I'm going to distribute this 3, and we're going to get 3 plus 3p equals 21 over 4. Our next step is we're going to subtract the 3 to both sides. This part's going to cancel out, and we're going to have 3p equals 21 over 4 minus 3. Now in order to subtract these two we need to have a common denominator. I know I have a 1 in the bottom. I need to have a 4. So we have to multiply top and bottom by 4. And that's going to give me 21 minus 12 common denominator of 4. 21 minus 12 gives us 9 over 4 on this part. That's not my final answer yet, because I have a 3p here. So we had a 3p equals 9 over 4. My next step now is to divide both sides by 3. Divide both sides by 3. And some of you might remember, when we have uh, div dividing a number, we don't really like it so much, so we say times, and we flip this around as one third. So we're going to get P equals 9 over 12. I know it's a decent amount of steps. So if, now here's my thing. If you know you're having trouble with math, the concepts, multiplying, dividing, you know, reciprocals, denominators, you need to start showing up to office hours. And, you know, tutoring already started this week. Tuesday was the first day. So if you couldn't make it for Tuesday, come for um, Thursday. I'm there from 2.15 to 3.45, an hour and a half. You know, I'm getting paid to be there for you, but if you don't show up, I can't, you know, force you to come in. Going to number three right now. This is a six over five. Easy trick, when you have the other side equals zero, you can divide both sides. I'm gonna say divide. I want the reciprocal of this, so I want, I want to divide both sides by negative five over four because I want to get rid of this fraction in the front, right? So divide this side by negative five over four. Zero divided by any number is still zero. These are gonna cancel each other out, cross out, and we just get x minus six over five. I want the x alone, so we say plus six over five, plus six over five, and x equals six over five, positive it was negative so we made it a positive once we move it to the other side one thing another trick when you see your denominators sometimes you'll see some teachers cancel out the denominator and this is what we're gonna do right now I want to have a common denominator I have fours on these and this is a 24 well I need to multiply the top and the bottom by six So 6 times 3 is 18. We have a minus. 6 times 5 is 30. And because they have a common denominator, I can just put them under the same denominator. 
113 over 24. And actually this has an M. I missed it. Now, what I can do here to make my life easier, multiply both sides by 24 to get rid of the denominator. And they're both gonna cancel out because they're the same number. After that, we have 18 minus 30M equals 113 minus 18 minus 18. And we should get, let me just double check my math is right. I don't wanna make small mistakes because they happen. We get negative 30 M equals 95. And then after that, we divide both sides by negative 30 and leave it as a fraction. Negative 95 over 30. If we divide the top and the bottom, by five, we're gonna get 19 over six, negative. And that's our answer for you. Like I said, we're doing some review when it comes to you know subtraction, addition, um, multiplying, dividing, and denominators. Like I said, there were some small mistakes when it came to the um, to the division and with um, fractions. So we're just practicing those right now. Notice how this is a really big number and that we have a fraction here. Don't let it scare you. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by two. By two. That's gonna cancel out this two on the bottom. And cause I'm multiplying both sides by two, what that does is I can get rid of this two and the 72 turns into a 36. Now I can divide both sides by a negative five opposite of multiplying is dividing. Divide this by negative five. Five goes into 635. It goes into it 37 times. No, not 37. 100, there we go, that sounds better. 120, There we go, 127 times. Negative 127 over 36 equals negative 11 over four plus x. After that, I'm gonna move my paper a little bit higher so we can all see it. After that, I wanna say plus 11 over four, plus 11 over four. And we're gonna get 127 negative plus 11 over four. This is 36 equals x. Almost done, just have to simplify this part because I have to have a common denominator. So I can multiply the top and the bottom by nine to have a common denominator of 36. That's me negative 127 plus 99 over 30 six, combine these two together. We're gonna get that, put them right here. We're gonna get negative 128, sorry, not negative 120, just 28, negative 28 over 36 equals x. I'm actually doing the left side, which is a lot tougher than the right, so I don't want you, you know, freaking out that these are terrible problems, okay? Next thing, I have a B I want to solve here. We're just reviewing. So let's review. I want to get rid of this 9 over 5. So I say minus and then minus 9 over 5. So this is going to be a nice easy problem. 2B equals negative 11 minus 9 over 5. I only put 1 over 5 on the bottom because they have the same denominator so I can actually combine my terms together. Negative 11, negative 9. This part right here is going to turn into negative 20 over 5. And negative 20 over 5 is negative 4. 2 times what gives us negative 4? Well, that's going to be negative 2. Like I said, these are review. If we're having trouble, you got to speak up, okay? We're almost there. 
in order to get rid of this fraction that we have because instead of doing the distributive property instead we're going to multiply by two-thirds which is the reciprocal and that's going to cancel out this piece here multiply this side by two-thirds and if I notice it's also the reciprocal so these are going to cross out and give me one any number divided by itself is one these are going to cross each other out and we get 7 over 3 n plus 1. I'm going to say minus 1 to both sides. Which gives us 0. And then once I multiply both sides by the reciprocal again, 7 on 3 over 7, 3 over 7, any number times 0 is 0. So n equals 0. Okay? I've done the left side, like I said, this is basically review, um, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, okay? Make sure you complete the right side, complete it all, show your work, it might get a little messy, it's fine, but I wanna see you put in that effort, okay? That's what I really care about. Um, it's gonna be on, I'll post this assignment, you know, on Google Classroom, and you'll see it on Canvas and everything. You're gonna turn it on Canvas though. If you're having trouble, Email me first saying I'm having trouble submitting to Canvas and then we'll talk. Now, if you've been having trouble with Canvas, I want to see you actually email, you know, your the school site saying, look, I've been having trouble signing into Canvas. I don't know if it's my password or what's going on. We need to get this problem figured out, okay? Because it's not just for my class. It's going to affect your grade for other classes, okay? So we want, I want to make sure that you're able to do your work and avoid any technical problems, okay? I did it the left side. I just completed six problems. Make sure you have all of them copied down. You know, follow along the video, re replay the video if you have to, and make sure you complete the six problems on the right side, okay? So there's a total of 12 problems. I completed six, and you have to complete six on your own, okay? Make sure you show your work. Notice how I'm not ex asking you to explain the work, just do the work, okay? That's it for today. Hope to see all of you tomorrow. Okay? Take care of yourselves.